I end with one beautiful example. A true story, my brothers and sisters, you, I'm sure, have visited remote parts of your country. I have visited remote parts of Africa. Wallahi, I have seen people who have nothing. Nothing. No house, no clothing, meaning very, very, very little. Food, they don't know where it's going to come from. And I've seen them so happy and so content. No phones, no gadgets, no makeup, no perfume, no accessories, no handbags, no cars, no whatever, whatever, nothing. They're so happy, so excited. And I've seen them worship Allah in an amazingly beautiful way. I've been to remote parts of Africa that have made me weep, weep for days on end. When I've heard and seen little children do deeds and their parents beautifully teaching them and the melodious recital of the Quran, which would be better than most of us, including myself. And you hear a small child in the middle of nowhere that barely has food and pure water to drink. And they're reading, and you start thinking to yourself, Allahu Akbar, Ya Ilaha Al Alameen, these are the true slaves of yours. We think we're a big deal. We don't even read Salatul Fajr on time. Some, some of us don't even read Salatul Fajr, forget about Salah. Some of us wouldn't even be bothered about trying to do things that would please Allah. Some of us are so affected by the environment around us that we are more embarrassed to face people than to face Allah. So we give up what would please Allah because we want to please the people that is so embarrassing yet there are people who have nothing in this world or very very little in this world and wallahi their deeds are mountains mountains of deeds where are we why do we think we're a big deal i am humbled when i see the people travel on earth travel in your own country go to places see people and learn from people and then you will realize that you know what we need a lot of help the hadith says materialistic items look at those who have less than you for you to appreciate the favors of allah but religious matters and matters of the deen look at those who are higher than you so that you realize how much effort needs to be made upon yourself